back for another spooktacular review. I hope you are. Today's spooky spot, we're going to have a look at the General Mills Halloween character plushies. Yes, there are three of them here. We've got ourselves Count Chocula. We've got ourselves Boo Berry. And of course, we've got ourselves Frankenberry. A tradition, unfortunately, that I don't get to benefit from every year is the fact that they have the Halloween cereals in stores. In Canada, not so much. But I did do a review one year of the Boo Berry and Frankenberry, which was such a cool thing. I got my hands on those. Um, that when these plushies come around, um, I pick them up through Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, again, we'll just go through them one at a time. First of all, we've got ourselves Count Chocula. Very cool with his fangs going on there. As you can see, each one comes with a little card. It says, adult note, please remove packaging attachments before giving to a child. Hopefully, I would think that's a good idea. The plushies come to us from Funko. You can go to www.funko.com. If I open them up inside, you can collect them all. Count Chocula, Boo Berry, and Frankenberry. The Count Chocula is very cool. Got himself his cape going on there. Now this almost feels like like a like a velour, I guess. I mean, they're a nice quality uh, stuffed animal too. It's not like they're just these cheap, you know, cheap plushies that you would find at like a fair. You know, one like a ball toss, and they gave you like a frog or something. Uh, these actually feel like they're pretty good quality. He's got himself his shoes and everything else here. We've also got ourselves Boo Berry, which growing up was always my favorite cereal of the Halloween characters. Um, I think when I, have, I got the cereal again recently and I tried it, I think I really liked the Frankenberry the most. But uh, growing up, I always really liked Boo Berry. Got a picture of Boo Berry there as well. Uh, one thing that was not unfortunately in the set was Fruity Yummy Mummy or uh, Fruit Brute. The two forgotten uh, mascots of General Mills cereal. Now, some people probably have uh, do remember them, but usually when you think of the Halloween cereals, you usually think of these three characters here. Finally, we got ourselves Frankenberry. And the Frankenberry, aside from having some fluff on his ears here, a whole bunch of fluff, uh, I think is one of my favorites. Not only in the cereal form, but also as the stuffed plushie here. Got himself his chains. He's got himself the clock up in the top corner there and the little steam pipe. Yes, Frankenberry does look very cool indeed. Um, these are something that I would likely keep out for Halloween. I probably would put them on my couch at the back of the couch, just have the little stuffed animals out. Um, but these are very neat. Now, they're not necessarily for everybody, but if you do like the Frankenberry and the Count Chocula, if you really do like the General Mills cereal mascots, I think these are very cool to get. Um, if you are interested in getting them, I would say go to Big Bad Toy Store. I think they've still got them on there. You can probably also find them in some specialty stores too. Uh, but these are neat little collectibles. Uh, today's spooky spot, we're having a look at some spooktacular General Mills cereal mascot plushies. Very, very nice. Reminds me though, looking at these, Man, I could really go with a bowl of Frankenberry. Again, I... Aw, shucks. But I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more spooky spots in the month of October. And I will see you guys next time. Woo!